Uh, Lucinda and I are here on the AVL production floor and we're with uh, one of our Jack 3G Jacquard looms that is just about um, ready to ship and we thought we'd take a little video and uh, show you some of the key features. So we're going to start the shed action now with the e-lift and Lucinda's going to give us a little a little uh, <laughs> a verbal chat. discussion we're here as chat. we film. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to move in on the hook action here. And you can see there's the upper blade and the lower blade, and they come together and cause, and it's coming apart to cause the um, hook action and raising of the harnesses. We are set on a tabby currently. The blinking red light shows the transmission of information. The top light, that steady, just shows that there's power in the unit. Each module has 120 hooks. And this is a 48 inch wide Jack 3G with how many modules? Looks like 10. 10 modules. Um, and it is currently set, there's probably about four and a half inches between modules. The wider the frame, the more room you have for uh, working with your modules, threading, fixing warp ends um, that you can spread with the Dyla set and, and give you more room. And we will be demonstrating the Dyla set. You're on. Okay. <laughs> Another great feature to the Jack 3G is the metal frame, the internal metal frame, which really helps with um, making it easier for installation, um, particularly with regard to the weight that, um, of the drive axle and the support for the modules. Um, it's constructed first and then with the drive axle and then turned vertically upright um, and then the wooden frame is built around the metal frame no, to provide stability and the, uh, all, then all of the other normal facets of the ABL looms are put into place, whether it's a sticky beam, sectional beam, work rollers, cloth storage is all the same. Providing, provided by the wooden frame. So um, you can come in and see the how the frame, the metal frame, fits into the wood frame and supports the e lift, which is the mechanism of choice on, on this particular loom, um, and the weight of the modules. And the also then also supports the dial set mechanism, which is the um, accordion-like frame that's at the bottom and the top to which the harness uh, the modules are attached. And it's set on small pads to enable, and they are adjustable so that you can be sure that it's vertically aligned and, and um, perpendicular. You never know about uneven floors. So then we'll operate the e-lift to show the turning of the drive axle in the metal frame. Yeah. 
And Lucin is just stepping on a pedal to do that. And I'm just operating the e-lift on the pedal in a single action mode. For this demonstration. Okay. So this is our Dilaset apparatus. And the purpose of this is to allow the modules to spread and um, change the angle at which it's presented to the face, to the weaver, and or to come closer together so that you can manipulate the density of your warp um, or just spread your modules for threading purposes. So turning. Counterclockwise, we'll move the modules closer together. So you can see there at the denser shed, and you can see that this accordion. Um, apparatus on the bottom of the modules to which the modules are attached at the bottom and the top um, folds in to make the modules bring them into a more perpendicular position relative to the weaver creating a denser set and now I can spread I just turning the handle clockwise. Stop. 